Welcome! Welcome to the Circus of Cheerful Slaughter! Step right up, my mortal friend. The show is about to begin, and you're the star. You're going to perform a play. My play, actually. Wrote it myself. I call it The Folly of Isolation. It's a tragedy and a comedy. They're both at once. Ah, a tragedy. <laughs> You want the next tome, right? Well, I need entertainment. I can only light Prince Malil here on fire so many times before it gets boring. You understand. Before we get to your motivation, we need to set the scene. The scene. Tamriel. The three alliances are at war, and the wee little mages guild wants none of it. They want... To stand alone. Jolly good, you're paying attention. Now, this is a play in three acts. In each act, you'll isolate the guild from those bloodthirsty, political, warmongering sons of silkworms by killing them. <laughs> oh, everyone! <laughs> right up to the high muckety bucks themselves. Just remember, you wait for your cues. You kill nobody unless it's in the script. Now, let's get going. I can't wait to see it performed. Here, Malil will even light the way for you. My soul's on fire! Don't forget to light the brazier! Ah, oh, you daft fool. Ha! Guess it still hasn't got no I'll meet you up ahead at the bustling pack down of Heart Hotel. Shall we raise the curtain? Begin the first act? Our opening act features the Ebonheart Pact. Ha! That rhymes, doesn't it? I'm a poet, and until now, I didn't realize it. Don't be presumptuous, mortal, or I'll banish you to the Isle of Lusty Bards. <clears throat> like I was saying, as the curtain rises, our Ebonheart friends are at peace. Allies. Historically, though, They've been at each other's throats. Slavery, border raids, and infighting have them primed for chaos. <laughs> they just need a little push. I've written myself a part, a small but pivotal role, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> hey! You hate each other, remember? Oh, yeah. Get up. Go! Join the practice! This is your cue! Action!
This isn't my land. I need to find my way home. He told me I could go home. I only have to find the way. Hello? Are you lost too? You'll never make a living reading all day. You need to earn some coin, Even mages Alast. take their noses out of their books once in a while. You just can't stand to be around people. Pathetic. Once in a century is a myrrh with your talent born. We have accepted your application to join our august and storied mage. This is the proudest day of my life, Guildmaster. Thank you. Can't I make sense of this text? I'm such an idiot. Mother, you left me. I'm all alone. The other students, the other mages, they all hate me. You were the only one. And now you're gone. The world is a cruel place, my assistants. Mages are envied their power and reviled for using it. We must have a place where we can study in seclusion. A place where all mages can be safe. Ulfsild, I did it. I have created a sanctuary, a retreat that will endure for eons. I shall call it Ivea. Sheogorath, you bastard! The folly and discognitum wasn't worth an island. I'll get Ivea back, 
even if it takes three lifetimes. Damn the Mad God. Damn Ulfsild. Damn the lot of them! They'll see. They'll all see. Archmage Shalador's name will ring across history! You didn't come home last night. I waited all night for you. Have you been working this entire time? Shalador, Ibea is lost. You're obsessed. Can you even hear me? I can't do this anymore. You love your spells and scrolls more than you love me. I'm leaving you. Can you hear me now? Goodbye, you stupid old fool. Ulfi, my love? I swear I just heard you. Where did you go? Finally, the last phrase. <laughs> the little word buggies go crawling around the page. Squirm, 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 little buggies.
I hear someone approaching? Why do you fight, you milk-drinking dog? Oh, it's simple, my king. The Mage's Guild caused this infighting. It's all their fault. The Mage's Guild? This mewling puppy? You want trouble? Here is trouble for the pack. Now pause for a brief intermission. Would you like some cheese? No time for witty banter, eh? <laughs> fine, fine. This act features the old Mary Dominion. Cats and elves. I never had a taste for either, honestly. Too much fur and fancy. Well, let's play it by ear. The scene. Queen Irene is addressing some of your peers. As a master thespian, you should respond to her heartfelt pronouncements as you see fit. And... action! The Mages Guild cannot turn on the Dominion so easily. You are a part of this world, like it or not. My queen, you don't understand. The Guild does not belong to any alliance. We merely wish to study in peace and solitude. Hey, quiet down front! I am trying to watch the Queen's speech! Either you're with the Dominion, or you're against us. You want to be removed from this world? Fine, I'll do it for you. Here, let me show you the path to exile. You can't ignore the world around you. Hey, Queenie! You missed a mage! This one is a member of the Guild, too! Ah, good catch, Jester. Soldiers, give this mage the gift of exile. Set it ablaze! Razumdar, Captain Odreth, take care of this, sir. You killed my favorite cat. Such a loyal pet. Like I'll have to handle this myself. You face Irene Arana of Mary in her full glory. And see, let's move on.
the third act always brings me down. Because it means the play is almost over. I'm enjoying this so much I don't want it to end. And the side shows. Have you enjoyed my little illusionary performances? Very illuminating, I think. Ugh, I won't tell you. I show you. That's the essence of storytelling. Show, don't tell. What do you think this is? Community theater? Well, it isn't. This is a professional production, and you are the star. I've set the scene. We can just improvise from there. Remember, show, don't tell. Stage left, we have the founder of the Mages Guild, Varnath. Stage right, we have your old, 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 old friend, Archmage Shalidor. And backstage, we have Velast, your new friend and confidant in the Mages Guild. But what's this? Why, it's King Emmerich and his friends from the Daggerfall Covenant. No doubt he's got kind words to share. Take it away, your highness! For perpetuating the use of magic, we hereby burn you at the stake. Let your corruption be gone from this land, once oh, and for seems all. Seems like nobody wants you around. Ha! So, this is the final scene. Save your friends. Then, I'll give you me book. is so much smarter than I am. I'm like a child before him.
Never gave me the chance to decide. My wife. performance was a bit uninspired at points. And you refused to eat cheese with me. Yes, yes, uh, you did make me laugh and cry and kick Malil in the head. I suppose that's all I could ask. Take your book. Just don't eat it all at once. <laughs> the book will take you back. It knows the way. Just remember, little actor, you still have one book left. And if you thought my play was rough, just think of what's ahead. <laughs> What happened? Where did you go? Oh, I'm almost afraid to ask what happened. I hope this trial wasn't too painful. I'll start translating this book right away. We've got one more trial to go. Nice work.
What happened? Oh, I'm almost... There's only one more trial. We'll let you know once we're finished delving through Sheagorath's madness. I was? What happened? The more we deal with him, the more I'm convinced. The Mad God is a spoiled child, pulling legs off bugs just to watch them twitch. What else happened? Some kind of commentary about Shalador's goal, no doubt. He may be a child, but Sheogorath certainly knows how to make a point. <laughs>